Hello, my beautiful Leos. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerzen.com, here to bring you your monthly love horoscope for July 2020. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. So what are we gonna talk about today? Will your ex return for the month of July? Okay, so we're gonna talk about their current, and what's currently going on between you and this person. What is their feelings for you? How do they feel about you romantically? And um, will you guys reconcile? Will you have a reconciliation in the month of July? And some advice, so stick with me till the end and let's jump right in. If you guys would like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all of the information is in the description box below. All right, so what's going on between my Leo and Leo's ex love interest? What's going on between my Leo and my Leo's ex love interest? The one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, the one that you're here for the most, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So we have the Eight of Pentacles energy. We have the Five of Wands energy. The Eight of Cups energy. The Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles energy. Okay, so we're gonna go over each individual card and then over the overall. Okay, so Eight of Pentacles is when uh, someone is focused on work, school, apprenticeship, or they are educating themselves, or they're focused on repetitive tasks. And then we have the Five of Wands energy, which shows me that there's something to do with arguments, disputes, or challenges here. And uh, someone who would walked, walking away mentally or physically. And uh, the Queen of Pentacles shows me a motherly, nurturing kind of energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And also the Nine of Cups shows me that there is a person that wants to fulfill their wishes. And the Three of Pentacles shows me that there is somebody who wants to work together. Uh, they want to come up with a creative solution. Um, also, though, for some of you, maybe you work together, maybe you go to school together. And um, it's like you kind of want to work together to fulfill these wishes here. Um, but this is this, this wish fulfillment or there are somebody's wishes is causing arguments and disputes between the both of you. Or there is more than one person involved in the situation with the Three of Pentacles energy, which is causing these challenges or competition here. So let's bring this all together now. Eight of Pentacles shows me that there is ma there's a decision being made to put the worker effort into uh, thinking about what, uh, you know, debating on what this person wants on a long-term basis, Queen of Pentacles energy. There's a patient energy here. What do I want on a long-term basis? And then we look at the five of, pen, uh, five of Wands. There's arguments and disputes happening because of someone's wishes. And now I see a table of people, they're socializing. And it's like one person's really looking at the other person, they're really admiring them. The other person's not paying attention to them. They're not even aware that they're really in the room there. That's what I look at from that Nine of Cups energy. You see that? And I feel like there's, there's, a, there's a sense of somebody feeling like I'm not being appreciated here. Um, I, I feel like I'm putting a lot of time and effort into this, or I want to put a lot of time and effort in, with you, but I feel like I'm, this connection, I don't feel appreciated. And um, this has made somebody feel really numb with the Eight of Cups energy about the connection. And um, I do feel like there is a person here that feels like maybe there's a third party situation going on or more than one choice or option. And um, also there's a person that may feel like this, this connection is a lot of work for them with the Eight of Pentacles energy because I see two eights in the numerology. Two eights are work, effort. And then fives are telling me that there's some challenges around that because of the fact that there is something to do with work or effort that's causing challenges here. And then uh, we look below that five of wands. Why is that five of wands there? Because someone wants to fulfill their wishes, right? There's a lot of socializing going on with other people. Somebody wants to fulfill their wishes. There's some kind of competition here with the five of wands energy. And so there's a patient energy here because of a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Why is the uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy? Because there's some kind of team environment, something to do with working towards a foundation or building something here. They're wanting to build something here. There's a person that wants to build something here. But on the same token, um, they've walked away physically or mentally. 
So then we see why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Because there's a team environment, because there's a work environment, or because there's more than one choice or option. So obviously something needs to be cut away or cut out. They, there, there's a person who walked away physically or mentally because of a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Obviously, there's still some arguments and disputes between you and this person. And uh, there's a person that's like, all right, um, these arguments and disputes because of your wishes is causing some challenges here around this. So we look at the numerology now of the situation. Eight is about putting the worker effort into as some kind of challenge or change to fulfill wishes because of coming up with a creative solution or having more than one choice or option. Okay, so now let's see how this person feels about you. How does Leo's ex-love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Leo's ex-love interest feel about them romantically? How does Leo's ex-love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. We have the Empress, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the King of Wands, the Emperor, and the Magician. Wow, this person's really feeling you. Okay. They love you. Empress, they love you. They are thinking about you. They're planning to take an action towards love and romance. Um, they feel passionate about you with the King of Wands energy. They feel like you're a leader. You're in control. Um, um, you know, you're very structured, organized with the Emperor card energy. Obviously, this is um, also next to the Magician card. They feel like you're an ideal situation for them. They feel like you have everything that they need. Um, so um, if we go and analyze this card by card and look at the overall picture, they feel like they want love and abundance and they feel like they, you would be a wise choice when it comes to passions. They've been doing a lot of thinking, contemplating and planning around the situation and gaining control here. They want to gain some kind of control here. They want things structured and organized in a certain way. They want, uh, they feel like they want to take an action towards love and romance. They feel like um, they want to be helpful here with this Knight of Cups energy, or they feel like you're helpful here with this Knight of Cups energy, and they feel like you have all the tools that they need. They feel like you're an ideal situation for them. And four is about stability, stableness, and structure here. So they want stability, stableness, and structure when it comes to you. They feel like that. Uh, I feel like this person may be... Um, uh, I mean, I see a, a kind of person spying behind the tree here. So maybe they're even checking up on you a little bit here um, because they want to uh, gain control around the situation or they need to know if they should take, they can take an action towards love and romance with the Knight of Cups energy. Um, so, and, and I see a tree in this card. I can't see the full tree, but I feel like this person does want to heal this relationship. Um, and I feel like this person would really love to have this as an ideal situation. They feel like there's abundance here um, and they feel like they want to take an action towards you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy because of the King of Wands. They feel like you're a natural born leader with the King of Wands energy. Yeah, they, they feel like you're, you're in control. You're a boss. You're, you're a leader. You're, you're a natural born leader. They feel like there's an ideal situation. They want love. They've been thinking about you and planning some things. I feel like they are even, maybe you're not even aware of it because this person doesn't seem to be aware that the other person is walking down there. You see, there's a person in the front there and the other person doesn't seem to be aware of it. So almost like a spying kind of energy or maybe like just checking up to see what's going on. If I look at now, let's see if you guys are going to reconcile. Okay, so. Is Leo going to reconcile with their ex-love interest in the month of July? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. We got the Five of Cups. Oh wow, we got the World card energy. We got the Temperance card energy. All right, we're gonna clarify this. All right, so I see that there's a lot of regret here about the past. And there's a want to complete this, to accomplish this, to take this to another level of commitment, to bring this back around. There is a person that wants to be patient around this though, because they wanna make sure that there's gonna be balance in this relationship. Why is this Five of Cups here? Why is this Five of Cups here? Because of a person causing some kind of blockage or challenge or delays 
which is something to do with an anchor, stability, stableness, or even work with the anchor card energy. What is this world card about? What's this world card about? There's arguments of disputes about appreciation, bouquet card, and someone who was deceptive or someone that wasn't being truthful. Someone feels like there is there's a person that's, that's causing hurt and pain because they feel like they're not being appreciated and they feel like this person's not being truthful to them. Why is the temperance card here? Why is the temperance card here? Cutting something away, cutting something out because of a group of people, family, workplace, friends, socializing, uh, could be more than one choice or option. So there, there could be another person involved and um, this person wants to wait until there's another person that's cut away or cut out because of loyalty, doll card energy, or for some, some of you, there may be a friend that maybe influences because we have doll card energy, or this person wants to make sure that you are going to be loyal to them. So they want to make sure that all the options are cut away or cut out because they want loyalty and they want, they want honesty and appreciation here, which is causing arguments and disputes. So five is about some challenges or changes here. So, and obviously there's a lot of regret. So I would have to say at this time, I'd have to say no at this time, um, only because you see that the, the Empress, the Temperance is at the end of this. Temperance being patient energy. There's a patient energy. There's a lot of regret about the past. And there is something that needs to be completed. Something needs to be ended to start something new here. So let me get some advice for you, Leo. Can I have some advice from Leos pertaining to their ex-love interest? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So it's a lot to do with trust here. Trusting and having faith this situation is going to work out. So I feel that you guys possibly had the control here because it's saying uh, you have to be aware that there's something to do with trust that's an issue here and that you can you can you can still reconcile with this person But you have to work out this trust issue here. This person's not trusting Yeah, some things need to be revealed here. So if you want to reconcile with this person There's some things that need to be worked out with trust here with this person. Okay um, And that could bring around the healing and the reconciliation between you and this person This this really needs to be revealed you guys really got to talk about things and you got to reveal these things about trust all right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. Guys, I will be releasing the uh, weeklies in the next couple days as well as the uh, mid-months uh, after that. So watch out for that. I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your month.